Hey everyone, today I'm going to have a look over a sensor that is BH1715. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website controleverything.com and search for this sensor. Now let's see what we got. So BH1715 is a digital ambient light sensor, 16 bit, 1, 2, 6, double, 5, 3, 5 lux. And these are some of its features. You can buy a product from here. In this tutorial, I will be interfacing the ambient light sensor BH1715 with the Raspberry Pi and I will be requiring a Python code for that. So go to resource tab and here is our Python code sample. Click on this code sample and you can download the code as a zip file from here. You can also get the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's make some connections for the hardware required for this tutorial. Well, first of all, in the hardware section part, we require a Raspberry Pi which is available and you can see on my screen it too. Now, these are the GPI pins of the Pi. The second thing we require is an I2C shield. The question arises, why we use this shield? And the answer is, to make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So, gently place the I2C shield over the GPI pins like this. Now this is the sensor, digital ambient light sensor BH1715 and a connecting cable is here. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same has to be done with the I2C shield. Now this is a micro USB cable. It is used to power up our Raspberry Pi and gently insert it over the power jack. For an internet connection, we require an ethernet cable or a LAN cable just like this and gently push over the ethernet jack. In case if you don't have a LAN cable or an ethernet jack or an ethernet cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module or adapter like this to make the internet connection sufficient. So we are done with the hardware connections part. Now let's see how the code is going to interface with our sensor. Now we have come to the interfacing section where we have to interface the sensor using a Raspberry Pi and a Python code. So let's log into github.com and we are searching for the sensor repository that is control everything community. Get over it and this is the required sensor BH1715. This is the code Python code we are looking for. Now let's have a look over the instruction for the Python first. We have downloaded and installed the SMS library on our Raspberry Pi and this is the link which will guide us through the whole procedure. Please note it down carefully. This is the command to run the code of Python. Now get back to the Python code and here we go. It's a .py extension file. First thing we have imported SMS and time libraries which we will use later in this code. The address of our sensor is 0x23 and we have sent the power on command on the register 0x01 as you can notice here is the writing command for that we have set continuous measurement command that is 0x10 and this is the writing part for that we have set continuous high resolution mode 1x resolution time equal to 120 millisecond for 0x110 as you can notice now next we have read 2 bytes of luminous data and from the address this is called general calling next we have the converted data in the form of luminance which is according to the formulas described clearly in the data sheet for BH1715. At the very end of our code we have output data on the screen which is in the form of ambient light luminance and the unit for that is LUX. So this is how a python code looks like for the sensor BH1715. Now let's have a closer look for the working of this sensor. For the working part first thing is to copy the entire python code and move to the terminal for the Raspberry Pi. Here create a new file bh1715.py extension and here paste the entire code. Now save it. This is the command we have discussed and this is to the run the code for python. And here we go. The ambient light luminance in the lux. Now when I place my hand and put some shadow over the sensor you can notice ambient light luminance decreasing. It's further decreasing. Now in place 
if I use a light source and put some light over the sensor the light increases as you can notice moving closer ambient light luminance again increases and it increases further so this is how the python code works with the sensor now let's proceed further and well we have seen the working of sensor BH1715 this sensor is a digital light sensor with an I2C bus interface its spectral responsibility is approximately human eye response it has a wide range and high resolution along with low power consumption the BH1715 is commonly used to obtain the ambient light data for adjusting LCD and keypad backlight power for mobile devices other applications include mobile gaming devices digital camera response and so on the digital light sensor BH1715 is purchased from website controleverything.com and the python code is available on the same site you can download the code from our github repository also that is control everything community for further queries reach us on controleverything.com and for any queries you can post your comments on our community portal for blogs for articles and other relevant things you can reach us on instructables.com and for video tutorials like this you can subscribe our youtube channel in the very end, you have a nice day.